The Galactic Free Press Update. The charade is over, the new to begin. Bringing humanity home. Energy and event update. Greetings, love beings. Wow. <clears throat> we have been rocking and rolling since our powerful 1111 portal opening, which brings us closer to the event for the return to oneness for all on planet Earth Equal Heart. This is an ev inevitable event called forth by the creators of this planet and all her inhabitants. Humanity is to become a blue star seed nation, and we are well on our way into this manifestation, and indeed it's already unfolding. All the prayers of love for the physical manifestation of heaven on earth equal heart have been heard loudly now, and this energy is spiraling around the grid surrounding this planet, magnified in intensity with their, our last eclipse and new moon energy, an intense Scorpio, which represented truth. All eyes are on planet Earth equal heart, assisting in this energy infusion. A planetary awakening is underway, and a living planet, unified <clears throat> in complete love, <clears throat> is our outcome. Enjoy this day. Quoted from D.L. Zeta, The November eclipses bring influences and energies that are a part of the awakening prelude of many light beings here to help anchor the new time on planet Earth. End of quote. Quoted from Mike Quincy and Salusa. Matters have really taken off with the coming of 1111, which has opened a portal through which much light has passed through you and into the earth. Those of you who set the time aside to work with the light have not only raised your own vibrations, but those of the planet. It is likely that as a result of your up of as a result, you felt uplifted and lightheaded, but it will settle down. Perhaps the most noticeable change within you will be your recognition of a deeper sense of calmness and peace. As you partake in further upliftments, so you will become even more at one, and others will feel the powerful energies that you are sending out. You are now in the time you have been waiting for, and as you look around, you will see changes taking place everywhere. It will bring joy and happiness into your being, and that again will lift the vibrations. The old paradigm is collapsing, beyond the point where it can be re-established, and we are ready to help you bring the new one into being. Indeed, behind the scenes, much has been going on to this end, and has advanced quite quickly. We continue to make more appearances in your skies than ever before, and when we can finally commence our flyovers, we know they will be well received. We feel that at last, you are beginning to relax and accept things as they happen, knowing that all is in order, and you will benefit from our assistance, which will speed matters up. Whatever is required to take place, this side of ascension will come about as intended. End of quote. The sun is also very active now and is greatly assisting us in these current energies of huge changes and all in love's favor. Quoted from Aisha North, this day will bring with in many unpre unprecedented instances as the sun is once again being very helpful in delivering the messages we want her to convey. You see, the floodgates have started to open. If we may use such a word to describe that fact now, the rain of energy over your planet will increase to such an extent, it will at times be difficult to keep your heads above the water. Let us explain. As many of you are aware, you are approaching the timeline many see as a divide between the old and the new, and even if some also think of it as the end of everything, the former is so much more truer than the latter. For your world is not coming to an end, far from it. Rather, it is finally gearing up to start anew. In other words, the systems churning themselves out into oblivion are certainly coming to an end. But your world is rapidly approaching the dawn of promise. So, prepare yourselves to be unindated with energy, but prepare yourselves to celebrate the self-same fact. For even if your physical body will call for a time out many times in the last remaining weeks of this year, know that your planet will revel in every new round of energy <clears throat> which hits her 
for it will help to bring you all over that threshold that will finally ensure the perfect velocity for you all to literally break through the barriers that have been cementing you to so much of the old and hurtling you into the wide open spaces of tomorrow. So take a deep breath and make yourselves ready for the waves coming in. For this time, they will pound you all mercilessly, not to break you down, but to break you free. End of quote. Quoted from Pat Lyles, Scorpio is traditionally ruled by the fiery, aggressive, action-oriented Mars, and ruled in the modern era by transformation, depth-loving, psychologically powerful Pluto. Mars, in this chart, is aligned exactly with our galactic center, which is at 27 degrees Sagittarius. Because the light hole at the galactic center, emitting powerful forms of electromagnetic energy and absorbing equally massive amounts of energy, is aligned with our most physical archetype, Mars, huge shifts in consciousness can be absorbed by this masculine planet and old forms released. This last eclipse along the great female dragon line that circumnavigates the planet mirrors the eclipse of May 20th, 2012 that crossed the great male dragon ley line at Mount Fuji and Mount Shasta. End of quote. On May 20th, 2012, we had an eclipse which could be seen here in Mount Shasta. A ceremony and prayer was completed for the end of the Cabal's rule over the people and a blessing for humanity's awakening during this event. These prayers were answered today during this eclipse, as well as the completion of the activation of the manifestation of the New Earth energy and Twin Flame connections. This energy is signaling the Golden Age to begin. Quoted from Irma K. Beloves, it is a noteworthy to point out that the powerful energies of November will serve as a bridge to continue to anchor in the higher, loving vibrations that are being anchored on your planet in preparation for the greater fullness and expansion which is to occur in the month of December. This moment in your world is a great window into change and an opportunity to further drop illusions and systems of control on an inward level. Since the inner strongly reflects the outer, this is also a powerful way to impact the group vision and collective consciousness and to infuse it with an energetic of truth and freedom. It is important to note that you cannot miss the boat with these energies as they are already here for you to connect with in a steady stream and they don't have an expiration date. You can do this through thought, feeling, and focused intention. To think about and activate intentions of love, peace, abundance, and sovereignty, both personally and collectively. This is a big moment and another definite mile marker as we make our way to the 12-12, 12-21-12. I was also shown a big reset button, which I thought was humorous and also quite accurate. All new moons are an opportunity to begin again and to start a new cycle, and this one is no exception. For this one, we also have the solar eclipse, shining both light and shadow energies that may need to be eclipsed out of our lives to make room for the new. Keep in mind, also, in a solar eclipse, that this is a point of power and creation. There may also be people and opportunities lining up to take their place as well. Love one another and help others rise to the higher levels simply by pouring out love. Love is infectious and is the greatest healing energy, end of quote. These intense energies are bringing forth intense transformations, changes, and manifestations of the truth. This is what this powerful month of November is all about in Intense Scorpio. And almost every message coming out these days shares this truth. There is something big happening on planet Earth equal heart, and in this energy the truth will not be denied any longer. Today marks an important turning point for the end of the old and the beginning of the new. Quoted from Solera, November is the month that changes everything. Many things are going to flip over and turn inside out. What will happen this month is almost indescribable. This month is huge, off the map, 
and absolutely unpredictable. It's a massive turning point. Often, it feels like we are walking on the razor's edge between the old and the new, where everything is on the line. Like a tightrope, walker walking over a precipice. We would love to make each step carefully and consciously, concentrating on maintaining our balance. But there isn't time for that. Instead, we have to drop our horizontal pole and run forwards blindly, aligned with our trueness and guided only by our heart's knowingness. On November 22nd, the 11th gate of the 1111 will be activated. This is the final 1111 activation and marks the end of our, of our momentous nearly 21 year journey through the 1111 doorway. The activation of the 11th gate opens the doors to a new world that we cannot yet see, but that we can strongly feel. It is already having a powerful effect on us because this one event contains both the end and the beginning as the spiral comes full circle. This sense of major completion, interlaced with a massive new beginning, is deeply poignant. We are so close to the end of an era. We are nearing the completion of our lengthy journey through duality. At the end of the month, we will be vastly altered, not the same as we were before. November is going to be amazing, surprising, joyous, creative, and full of immense love. It's going to take us to our perfect places within and outside of us. It is a time of homecoming when we return home to our true selves. Huge energies that we've never known before will come in that will move us into the expanded realms of the diamond of the unseen. This is it. The end and the beginning. End of quote. There are key events and projects which many lightworkers are stepping forward into their roles and accomplishing now. The first project underway is Project We Declare Peace on Planet Earth. Currently, we are requesting on-the-spot love reporters to videotape those who would assist planet Earth in announcing they declare peace. Ask your neighbors, your friends, families, and at gatherings. Go to parks, coffee shops, and meeting places. Together, united, we are victorious. You can find the details on how to participate here and to assist in this project at the link below. After the 1111 portal on November 12th, and before this powerful eclipse, we also launched our second powerful project, the Unity Campaign. These two powerful projects are fueling the energy for the new paradigm to begin. It is time. Quoted from Tan, Earth Star Network is excited to announce an inspiring new initiative that will step up efforts to turn on Gaia's frequency, raising lights full beam. As the 2012 Triple Way November portal takes us increasingly into the manifestation of love and the oneness energy, the planet's key spiritual influencers and lightworkers are joining together to put what they preach into practice. Unity and oneness is being spearheaded by a group of way showers, creating a way for any lightworker to publicly make their own commitment to the oneness agenda. It is a timely calling. As consciousness grows and more of us are required to stand up as a collective voice for love in both principle and action. Any light worker that puts their heart where their mouth is can join in the fun and move from intention to example as 2012 accelerates into a whole new gear of manifestation. By joining together, light workers can be the change. Awakened light workers are the ground team that will help the planet's collective make the climb into unity consciousness as more and more people wake up. This first response team is now gathering together so they can create a visible beacon for others. End of quote. You can find more information about the Unity Campaign at the link below. Yeehaw! Enjoy the amplification of the manifestation of heaven on earth 
as love and heaven are amplifying these energies. We love humanity and we are here. You can count on us to share the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help us us. Decreed by heaven, all prayers of love are being magnified for manifestation. It's the end of the old and the beginning of the new. This is the divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth Equal Heart. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission and all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, Humanity's Earth Thou Lies, the Company of Heaven, and the First Contact Ground Crew Team.